Radio. You're listening to PetLifeRadio.com. Welcome to Save a Pooch on Pet Life Radio. I am your host, Beverly Isla. Thanks for tuning in. Today is about paying it forward. And thankfully, there's so many organizations that live by that principle. And today we'll be featuring an initiative that is paying it forward for the animals. And it's an initiative by Bayer Animal Health called Share for Shelters Campaign, where they will donate products to animal shelters with the help of individuals and AdoptAPet.com. And AdoptAPet is the largest nonprofit pet adoption website. And we'll have them come on as our second guest. So when we get back from these messages, we'll talk with our first guest, Lauren Bayer's representative on their current initiative. Sit. Stay. We'll be right back after a short pause. Well, four to be exact. Nature at its best is nature at its simplest. At Red Barn, we've kept it simple for 20 years by concentrating on single-ingredient natural dog treats. Because Mother Nature's actually pretty good at this. Bones are just tasty bones. Meat treats are just nourishing meat. It's nature at its simplest. Look at the label. We want you to. Red Barn Natural Treats. Simply the best. Find it in your local pet specialty store. Try our slow-roasted natural meaty bones. Let's Talk Pets on PetLifeRadio.com. Welcome back to Save a Pooch. We are talking with Lauren Dorsch about the Share for Shelters campaign and how they help our animals. Thanks for coming on today, Lauren. Thanks for having me, Beverly. I appreciate it. Really, really thankful for that. So Bayer Animal Health is in the middle of a campaign right now called Share for Shelters. So uh, can you tell us about that? (laughs) Yeah, absolutely. Sure. So Share for Shelters is a campaign that that we thought up with Adopt-A-Pet this year. We're about halfway through. It goes through the end of the year, December 31st. So how it works is we're basically asking pet owners across the country to share photos and around the world, too, to share photos of their pets or those that need adopted. So we're reaching out to shelters, too, and saying, hey, if there are awesome pets that need to be adopted, share a photo with us on shareforshelters.com and you can also just tag your photos on Instagram or Facebook using the hashtag shareforshelters um, and each time oh, a photo okay. is shared Bayer donates products to adoptapet.com and they distribute to shelters within their network that are really in need of flea and tick products for the pets that are currently in their shelters that could rack up <laughs> with a, yeah with a- yeah, but, it does. And so far, uh, over 400 people have already submitted pet photos. And there's been all kind of over 300 photos tagged um, with the hashtag on Instagram. It's been really great so far. Oh, that's awesome. But do the yeah. when people share their photos of their pets, does it have to be a rescue dog or it doesn't matter? No, it doesn't matter. So basically, the idea of this campaign is we know people love their pets so much, whether they're adopted or rescued or mm-hmm. neither. Pets are now part of the family, you know, and we want people to Absolutely, share that with yeah. everybody. And, you know, we want to be able to keep all those pets healthy. Right. Okay. Perfect. So this ends fairly soon. Are you guys going to be transitioning into another campaign after or is it going to just slow down? So so TBD at this point, the campaign does end at the end of 2015. Um, we'll be announcing the winner. There is a little bit of a little bit of an incentive for pet owners. So the top five most liked photos on the shareforshelters.com page yeah. get a little goodie bag from there. So we'll be carrying that into 2016, probably January. January or February, but then I think, you know, we'll be looking to expand this campaign just because there are so many people that love their pets and want to get pets adopted and keep pets that are in shelters and in their homes healthy. So I think, I think this will be something that gets expanded throughout the years. That'd be awesome. That's great potential. So how did you guys get involved with Adopt-A-Pet? They're pretty big. 
They are, and they're, I have to say, little shout out to adopt a pet They are a phenomenal partner to work with. Oh, Not only awesome. do they do great work for pets, but they are a phenomenal partner to get these kind of campaigns kicked off with. Oh, um, oh, that's good to know. We have been working with adopt a pet since before I even started at Bayer. So I can't tell you the original background oh, okay. involved with it. Yeah, but we've realized that these two organizations together, one that has the products to keep pets healthy and one that wants to get pets into good homes, forever yeah. homes, you know, that's a really great partnership that has a lot of potential and knew that we could save a lot of lives by partnering together. Yeah, absolutely, man. Absolutely. That's awesome. Yeah. But now, the Bayer's Animal Health, I do realize they're under the umbrella of Bayer Healthcare, correct? Correct. And, you know, Bayer actually, you know, we're, we're changing that a little bit um, next really? year. So we are. We're still considered an animal health company, but Bayer as a whole is now focusing on life sciences. That's yeah, and our mission science for a better life. Yeah, so yeah. It's, it's changing a little bit, but it's really, you know, from the food we eat, from a crop science perspective, to the, the pets we love from an animal health perspective, and then keeping people healthy through our human health um, yes. element. You know, we, Bayer is really everywhere. So there's a lot of challenges that are facing society right now and oh, yeah. um, some of them have grown. There's an aging population that the population is expanding. It requires new and better medicines. We need a more reliable food supply and mm-hmm. pets are also growing in the sense that they're now part of the family. You know, the relationship with pet owners is growing. You know, people love their pets. So from physicians to veterinarians and farmers to pet owners, you know, Bear is really a part of all of those different aspects. Oh, that's good. They're getting down to the roots. And I love how they connect the two completely different industries together. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. (laughs) (laughs) So, Lauren, maybe you can provide us some personal insight since you're pretty much behind the scenes with a lot of the things. What would be the priority? This is a big one. What would be the priority in terms of educating the public so that the number of pets given up or taken away decrease? Sure. So that's really something that I think adopt a pet could do a really good job of addressing just because they're the boots yeah. on the ground. You know, they're the ones that have people in the shelters, you know, getting these pets adopted. But I will say that from our perspective, from a bear perspective, mm-hmm. um, keeping those pets healthy is our priority, whether they're in the shelters waiting for a home or they're going home with their new owner. You know, we want to make sure that those pets have what they need in order to start a new life on a healthy page. Right. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. I know Dana from Adopt a Pet will be able to give you more, more info from a, from a boots on the ground perspective. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm hoping that Bear gets their foot on the ground so that people really know where to go to, to get their animals healthy. I mean, it's, animal health is pretty big, but I find some owners are a little bit on the gray area. I hate yeah. it, but they're in the gray area sometimes. You know, the good thing is, is there's lots of really great resources out there to help pet owners determine what products and solutions are best for their pets. You know, there's, you know, obviously your veterinarian should be number one. You know, we we need veterinarians to help us keep our pets healthy. But then there's also a lot of online resources and, you know, pet retailers that, you know, I know pet owners are really busy and we want to make sure that those products can get to pet owners in the most convenient way possible for them. So the good news is, is because pets are growing, the industry is growing, which makes a lot of resources and solutions available to pet owners. Absolutely. Well, all the best to you and uh, and your initiatives. Thanks for talking Thank to me you. today, Lauren. Thanks, Beverly. I appreciate it. <laughs> And if you'd like to know more about the campaign, you can visit shareforshelters.com. And uh, for more information on Bayer Animal Health, you can go to animalhealth.bayer.ca. Correct. Perfect. Thank you so much, Lauren. Awesome. Well, thank you for your time. I really appreciate it. We'll take a quick break before we talk with our second guest, Dana from adoptapet.com. Sit. Stay. We'll be right back after a short pause. Well, four to be exact. It's designerpetsweaters.com. Hand-knitted designer sweaters for your precious pup or cool cat. Beautiful couture patterns for your pets, including custom-knitted formal wear, casual wear, yachting, and even sports-themed. Many designer pet sweaters include feathered tammy hats, top hats, and a lot of sparkle. Each sweater includes leg loops, front paw sleeves, and leash opening. Visit designerpetsweaters.com to order your four-legged fashions today. Your pets will stay warm for the winter and be runway ready. Large or small, we fit them all. designerpetsweaters.com 
Begging to hear more of your favorite show? <laughs> Full episodes of all our shows are available on demand. Go to PetLifeRadio.com to fetch our entire lineup of possum pet podcasts. Also, dig us up in iHeartRadio Talk and iTunes. Let's talk pets. <laughs> Live and on demand only from Pet Life Radio. Let's talk pets. Let's talk pets. On Pet Life Radio. Pet Life Radio. Pet Life Radio. <laughs> Welcome back to Save a Pooch. We are talking with Dana Puglisi, our second guest who represents the largest nonprofit pet adoption website. Hi, Dana. Thanks for joining us today. It's, it is an honor to feature the organization today. Hi, thanks so much for having me. It's, it's amazing to be here. We're really excited. Good, good. So how did you get involved with Bayer's campaign, Share for Shelters? Yeah, so actually, you know, Bayer has been a major supporter of AdoptPet.com for many years. Um, and they yes. care very deeply about our shared mission to connect good people with great pets from local animal shelters. Uh, uh-huh. We're actually about to kick off our eighth year of working together very closely to help end animal homelessness. And a huge part of addressing that problem Uh is equipping local animal welfare organizations, you know, like the shelters and rescues in your own community, with tools to help them get pets healthy and to find good homes. So, you know, when Bear came to us with the Share for Shelters program, we were really, really excited because it's going to help us provide more than 16,000 animal welfare groups with the opportunity to receive free Bear animal health products at no cost. That's amazing. Those products like Sorepto, Advantage 2, K9 Advantage 2... We knew it was a real win-win for the animals, so we were really, really excited to work with them on this. That's awesome. Good for you. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty amazing. They're now, an amazing organization. You guys are pretty big. And one thing I kind of am curious about is I know Adopt-A-Pet stands beside Pet Finder, I mean, in their goal, at least, of providing adopters with a place to search for a rescue dog. Now, is there a difference between the two platforms? Yeah, no, that's the question. the question we get quite often. Oh, okay. Um, so AdoptAdopt.com and PetFinder are the largest pet adoption websites. Um, I would say that the primary difference between the two organizations is that AdoptAdopt.com is a charity. We're a 501c3 nonprofit organization. And yes. we're sponsored by Bear Animal Health, the Petco Foundation, and by Purina, who actually owns PetFinder. So oh. we're very connected that way, too. Yeah, okay. it's, it's kind of an interesting situation. Um, so we all share this mission of finding loving homes for pets and animal shelter. So you guys are all integrated. Well, okay, that's good. Yeah, it's, it's actually pretty awesome for the animals because there's a lot of really great people, a lot of really smart minds who are, are thinking about how to best help them. Yeah, that's amazing. What are the general stats on adoptapet.com, like their success rate? Yeah, so we hear from shelters, you know, quite often that they get many adoptions through adoptapet.com. You know, some even say that we double their adoptions and we hear from adopters every day that, you know, they found their best friend through our site. So we know we're facilitating a lot of adoptions. We actually call them happy beginnings. That's our name for that uh, that process. Yes. Um, so each month, about 4 million pet seekers come to adoptapet.com and use our adoptable pet search engine. So we know we're responsible for tens of thousands of adoptions each year. That's great. We're pretty the, proud of it. <laughs> yeah, I would be too. Now, the organization, like, you guys are just going to keep on growing, but what? how are you guys going to, I guess, receive the demand that's going to be coming in the next few years? Yeah, so that's something that we're always thinking about. You're going to see a lot of really awesome stuff coming out of AdoptPet.com in the future. We've always been a great organization. We've always, you know, been very, very focused on saving countless lives and bringing joy to both people and to animals. Yeah. But we're, our focus is getting even tighter and, and even better for the future. As a charity, we're pretty lucky that we have the opportunity to connect with some of Silicon Valley's smartest technology folks. Oh, that's helping awesome. Us to really strategize. It's really awesome. They're helping us to, to really strategize and build an even better service so that we can facilitate more happy beginnings in the future and save more lives. Yeah. If everybody united, especially in the tech world with you guys, that would be a real stepping stone, especially with, with the tech evolving over so fast. Absolutely. Because it's something that, that, you know, everyone cares so much about. Many people have pets of their own. So when they hear about what we do, they mm. feel an, an instant connection and they want to help. So that's yeah. one of the very interesting things about, about this world that we live in. That's awesome. Now, does Adopt-A-Pet, are they mainly North American or worldwide? 
So we are a North American service. So we are in the U.S. and Canada. We have okay. a network of over 16,000 animal shelters and rescues um, across the U.S. and Canada. And okay. uh, hundreds of thousands of pets from those organizations that, that uh, are within our database. Yeah, I was looking around there. There's so many. My God. <laughs> <laughs> Now, are you guys doing more similar you campaigns? Want to them all. I know, exactly. We should all just get farms. Now, with Bayer's <laughs> campaigns, are you guys doing anything that's similar to that? Is it, or is it usually the Share for Shelters campaign that's signature, the, the signature program? So we, we have a very broad and, and integrated sponsorship with Bayer. So they are very much a part of everything that we do. The Share oh, okay. for Shelters program is just one small like part of the relationship that we have with them. They are very oh, okay. involved in the bigger picture of how can we really help shelter animals. And this one campaign is one thing that they were doing separately from us that they said, hey, you know, Adopt.com would be a great partner for this program. Let's make the biggest impact for homeless pets by bringing them into the fold on this. Yeah, that's awesome. Now, they're considering there's so many listed, what advice would you have for people looking for a pet on the site? It's overwhelming. <laughs> Yeah, there certainly are a lot of pets available on the site. Um, there are hundreds of thousands of pets of all species, cats, dogs, rabbits, horses, ferrets, um, mm -hmm. even farm animals. Whatever type of pet you're seeking, we can help you to find that type of pet. Um, and it's super easy to get overwhelmed. And I think that my, my advice would be yeah. really take your time with the process. Adopting a pet is a decision that it's for the lifetime of that animal. So you want to really That's make sure true. that you and your, your whole family are ready for that responsibility. Yes. Um, I'd also suggest, you know, perhaps familiarizing yourself with some of the content on the adoptset.com blog. Um, we have a lot of uh, tools and resources to help you get prepared for adoption. Um, so you know what to expect. Um, and then we have a lot of stuff that can help you post adoption as well. We have a puppy manual. So if you're adopting a puppy, that's like a very specific type of adoption. And you need to know oh, okay. what to expect. We also have our total dog manual that's actually out on Amazon right now. And it's kind of a, a high level overview of everything you need to know when you're getting a dog of any age. And obviously, we have tons of other other resources that speak you know, specifically the cat adoption and small animal adoption, and that can really help you pinpoint the things that you need to be thinking about in your personal adoption process. Okay, um, it's if you, all on there. Yeah, and if you know you're ready to adopt, and I'd say my piece of advice would be to jump in and have some fun with it. You know, get started on the site, browse pets near you. You can read their bios and learn about their personalities. Check out their photos. Some of them have videos, too, so you can see a little bit, like, how they engage with folks, if they're playful or if they're a little bit more shy. Mm -hmm. um, and then if I you find that. a pet that you're interested in, you can submit an inquiry right through our site, and it will go directly to that shelter or rescue, so you can talk directly to the people who okay. are caring for that pet. Okay, so you guys don't do any of the, um, I guess, uh, the interview process. It's for that particular rescue. Yeah, we're a search engine for adoptable pets, so we okay. are kind of the conduit to those Yes, adoptions. that's it. Okay. Okay, that's good to know. So everybody has their own protocols. And I just have Absolutely. to add in... Yeah, and I just have to add in because there's, there was a post on Facebook, and I totally agree. For the listeners out there, please, dogs are not gifts. They are not gifts. <laughs> I just have to reiterate that. That's true. So we hear from a lot of people, um, you know, this time of year that they're thinking of getting a, a pet for a gift for a boyfriend or for a girlfriend. Yeah. Or, um, you know, something to that effect. And we want people to know that that's. That's truly very, very sweet and wonderful and amazing. <laughs> but if that person receiving that pet is not ready or exactly. if that is not the right match or whatever the, the case may be, it's a tricky thing to, to do that. And so we would advise that if people are thinking of doing that, to really bring that person into the fold and yes. talk with them yes. and get them to be the primary part of that um, adoption process because that we want all of, all of the adoptions that take place to really be forever. Exactly. Exactly. Well, thank you Absolutely. so much. Thank you for having me. And, and we're, you know, always very happy to, to talk about what we do in our mission. We're excited about getting homeless pets adopted and helping everybody to have that really great bond that are the type of thing that, you know, you want to, you know, tell the world about. Yes, exactly. Well, we are out of time. But if you'd like to know more about Adopt a Pet, please visit AdoptAPet.com. 
pets.com. You will find so many pets needing homes. So please share it with people you know who are looking. And as we said, who are ready for looking. So thank you to our guests and our show producer, Mark Winter, for making this show possible. If you have any questions, comments, or ideas for a show, please email me at Beverly at PetLifeRadio.com. So until next time, spread animal compassion. Let's Talk Pets, every week on demand, only on PetLifeRadio.com.